Most people around the country were thoroughly entertained by the exchange between Mr Jordan to my right and the owner of Accrington Stanley, lead to Accrington Stanley, uh, Andy Holt. It all came after Wrexham came calling uh, quite recently and um, <laughs> Andy had decided that uh, because of Wrexham's away support and the advantage to it, it would be a good time to maybe put £5 on their, their ticket price, which he did. Uh, but Wrexham decided they'd be cute pre-match uh, and tweeted uh, in response to Accrington Stanley's decision to increase match day prices by five quid uh, from that previously, previously charged, we decided we'll reduce the price of our match day tickets by five quids for the return match. And that really prickled Andy Holt so much so that they get involved in a bit of a, a Twitter exchange. Andy Holt has been a, a long-time servant uh, and owner at Accrington Stanley, Simon. As you heard there, he's put five million of his own money into the football club. Yep. He continues to do that and now enough's enough. He's called time in it and he's putting the club up for sale. But you can see where he's coming from. I mean, yeah, to be honest, you almost see, got together on the whole I point of it. I can see where he's coming from. But, um, uh, but uh, again, Andy could have made the easy solution and just limited Wrexham to 250 fans like every other club brings to the ground. So his average away attendance is 250 quid. But 200... why would he do that? Because then he wouldn't have the policing costs that go with the 2,500 fans. So he could have stayed with the 250 that he gets every single game, pocketed the 5,000 pounds, had no police cost, or he can have the policing cost for 2,500 fans and take the 50 grand that he gets. But what he wanted to do was put an extra fiver on. And by the way, that five pounds is profiteering to some extent, but for whose benefit? For the club. So the club are trying to make as much... So it's like putting an extra £100,000 on a player transfer because you can, because you're selling it to another football club. The other football club is buying the football club and go, well, that's a bloody liberty. We agreed 500000 Now you want 600000 Yeah, that's the nature of the beast. Where's the money go? It's going into the club. But I would have thought you would have admired what Andy did. He was being financially opportunistic. Depends on, depends on which side of the argument you're on. The argument's well, of being, course. The arguments being advanced against Andy is he's profiteering, which he is. He's profiteering off the back of the fact but that... But he's thinking of his own club. Right, and that's the other side of the argument, which is the, which is the capitalism argument and the ultimate ne ne necessity to generate more revenue. Yeah. So he could, have limit, he could have removed this argument by saying, I tell you what, I'm more than happy to have the same 250 fans that come to every game, <laughs> right, from all teams around league, right? And I'll take the 5,000 and I won't have any police costs. Or I'll have the police costs because the police costs go with the two and a half thousand fans that Wrexham bring and the 50 grand now what Andy's done is put an extra 10 grand on top he said I'll have the two and a half thousand fans I'll have that 50 grand I normally get five but I'll have that 50 but I don't want the 10 grand cost that goes with the with, with the uh, two and a half thousand fans I'm going to lump that on top so Wrexham have gone well we don't like that very much albeit they should have said it at the beginning of the season then what, yeah. what he's annoyed about and I make him right is West, um, Wrexham are being a bit jack dash they're being a bit, look at us, look at what we got behind us, and we can give you ticket prices cheaper at our place as a result of what your chairman... So I get it. Yeah. I get it. They were being cheeky and Andy took exception yeah, to and, it. Yeah, and Andy's all taken exception to the fact they've rocked into the league, they're all the yeah. noise, they're and, all the big tunes. Andy's not and I get it. Ryan Reynolds. He, he's not a Hollywood and I get it. Uh, owner. He's not a I get Hollywood it. actor we with have massive to, we, money. We have to listen to laughable things like in their documentary was, if we didn't get promoted, it'll be an existential threat from Ryan Reynolds. Oh, cobblers. What a okay. load of rubbish. All right. Um, well, apparently you guys are worth 700 million quid. How's a million quid going to be existential to Wrexham? I.e., you've got to put your hands in your pocket a little well, bit Well, listen, uh, there's two sides to every story, isn't there? You, you've heard Andy Holt, the owner of Accrington Stanley, saying, I didn't like what Wrexham did, going on Twitter and saying, right, when you come to our place, we'll reduce your ticket price by a fiver. Um, and he didn't like that. He didn't like the way that uh, Wrexham put that out to their many, many social media followers because of the Hollywood people at the top of the football club. But there's two sides to every story. Andy, as you heard there, was particularly unenamoured by uh, the involvement of a man he knows, a former chief executive of the EFL, Sean Harvey, who is now at Wrexham, and Sean's now with us. Sean, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Jim. Good morning. Thanks so much for, for joining us. Andy, you know Andy Holt, so do I. He's passionate about football. He's passionate about his club. He's passionate about Accrington Stanley. Do you think it was the best idea in the world, uh, Sean, that Wrexham went on Twitter pre-match saying, well, you've put the ticket prices for our away fans up by a five or a ticket. I tell you what we'll do. We'll do the opposite when you come to our place and we'll reduce your ticket price by a five or a ticket. Was that not a bit cheeky? Well, I don't. I don't know whether it was a. I don't know whether you should categorise it as being cheeky. I mean, you know, we'd made the decision. That's the action we were going to take, and you know, in very much the same way as 
as Andy's entitled to uh, charge the prices he wants to charge. And just for the record, he, he increased the prices for Accrington fans as well, not just for Wrexham fans. So there's never been any suggestion that any rules any rules have been broken at all. We we took we took the decision to reduce the prices by five pounds, sim- sim- simply to compensate those fans who are having to pay five pounds more to watch to watch the game at the Wham Stadium. To um, for, for when they come when did you do that, Sean? Picture. When did you do that? When did we, what, when did we make the decision? When, yeah. Well, probably Thursday or Friday that week. Did you know that? Because Andy says that when, like, is normally the courtesy ticket prices, thermal stock, and all that stuff is distributed at the beginning of the season. So you knew the ticket prices that Aquita were going to put on your fans at the beginning of the season. So why drop that little emissive just before the game? Well, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure we were informed at the start of the season what the ticket prices would be for our game. Whether whether it was whether it was explained to us at that time that, that was more than for any other game that had been played at the Wham Stadium this season or not, I doubt. Albeit, I have to reserve my position because I would I certainly didn't get the original the original email. Yeah, but you're not and, taking and a pro- commercial decision, Sean. You're taking a facetious decision. You're taking you're taking revenue away from yourselves to make a point at the expense of Accrington, and you know you are. Well, we're, we're, we've made the decision that we felt was appropriate and one that we were prepared to financially stand Yeah, but you're doing it at the expense of another football club and you're being facetious and you're virtue signalling to your own fans and the rest of the football at the expense of Andy Holt, who told you the ticket pricing at the beginning of the season. So you knew it, and then what you do is you drop it on the eve of the game that ultimately you're going to do something different. So Wrexham looked great, Accrington looked poor, and, and, that's what and then you create tension before a game, and you know it. that's not very good, Sean. You know that's not good. And well, you, I mean, you know that Andy Holt's going to bite at something like that, Sean. Well, and you know, but Andy's made conscious decisions as well. You know, he, you know, he's he's made the decisions to be. I mean, Accrington have made the decision to increase to increase the price, and you know, we've we've responded in a way that we felt. But his is a commercial decision. Profit. His is a commercial decision to ge- generate revenue from an away support, which I disagree with the principle of, by the way, because if he's got two and a half thousand fans coming in at twenty pounds rather than the average two hundred and fifty he gets, whatever his policing costs are, he's going to make significantly more revenue by the fact you bought more fans. So I, I, I don't, I don't agree with the principles of it. But you guys are doing it at his expense. You're not making a commercial decision. You're making a decision based upon how you want to position yourself. Is that fair, Sean? Well, I think I think we're as entitled to make our decisions and announce those decisions yeah. as as, Ac- as Accrington are. Well, on the eve of a game, do you, do you, I mean, so you, but you, you create tension. So you have got fans walking into a football stadium thinking that they're being profited off the back by the by the current club that they're visiting. Do you think that's a good look, Sean? I would have thought you, as, the, as if you were back in your situation with the EFL chair, uh, chief executive, you'd have been saying, "Not very good, guys. We're supposed to be yeah. working together in this space." But Simon, let's just let's take a step back. These price, the, the social media has been full of the debate in relation to the increased ticket prices at Accrington long before people turned up at the at the stadium on Saturday. Right. It's been it, it, they, our, our fans have been make, making the point for some considerable period of time, as indeed I think Accrington fans were also making the point that they were being charged. Like, so this wasn't just created. On the morning of the game, this has been going on for when the conscious this this must this must have started when the conscious decision was made to increase the ticket prices. So there was a time there was a time there was a time and a place to make to make the announcement, and ultimately we decided we decided that the morning of the game to say to our fans you know effectively thank you for paying the extra money and still going and supporting us, and we'll do the we'll do this for the away game, and we'll also do it for Accrington fans to make sure we stay with inside the, with inside the rules. Is a, is a situation where you're But, right, was, but it, Sean, I know you. It was also a, a little swipe at Accrington as well and at Andy, wasn't it? Well, we don't, I, I, I think we share the same view as Simon. <laughs> that, we, that, that ultimately, I, we, don't, we don't agree that you should be putting the, price, the prices so, up. So, listen, you, you, you are going to stand by what you've said and you're going to drop ticket prices for the turn match by fiver. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I can see very briefly, Sean. I can see what it, what it was all about. I mean, Andy Hall, longtime owner of Accrington Stanley, proud of his football club. Wrexham come to town. There's Hollywood stardust there. Big guys at the top. Big personalities with a, a huge profile. And I think I, I think Andy thought he was being sat on a bit. Maybe, maybe. Just my hunch. What do you think? Well. well. And, and, and Andy will never be short of letting anybody know what his opinions are, and so, so I don't think I, don't, I genuinely, I genuinely don't think we have to second guess what Andy's thoughts about the matter were. 
Sean, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Sean Harvey, of course, uh, one-time chief executive of the EFL. Now at Look Wrexham. forward to it being done to Wrexham when they get into a bigger, better league. No, because well, yeah. at this moment in time, they're a big noise in a small league. Yeah, It'll come round. What goes around comes round. Well, that was the story of Accrington, Stanley, Wrexham. And just for, uh, just for the record, Accrington, Stanley, and the Holtz Club won it. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.